talk is really, really short. Um, we'll take questions after. But uh, if you want, when the conference is over, come and talk to me. I will be more than happy to help you. So, uh, before starting, I would like to briefly introduce myself. Uh, so, like I said, I'm Lucy, and I'm working for two awesome communities. Uh, one of them is Ride the Dogs. It's um, a conference and meetups uh, for people who love um, software documentation. And uh, the other community I work for is Django Girls. So, Django Girls is a foundation founded uh, two years ago. Um, it's a foundation that helps volunteers from all around the world uh, create a free uh, one-day programming workshop for women. And uh, since we started, we uh, now uh, have uh, 63 events all around the world. And, uh, CC oh, sorry, my bad. So, since we started, we have more than 5,000 people and attending one of our three, uh, 63 events. It's called, oh. Come on. <laughs> okay, I'm a little stressed, so I'm going to study again. Sorry about that. So, like I said, we had uh, 60, we had, I think we we'll, you know, like 200 events in 63 countries where 5,000 people attended. So, the thing is that I attended the first uh, workshop in Berlin uh, when I was a total newbie of programming. And uh, since then, I've organized two workshops in Paris and a clutch at seven events in Europe. And I'm here to talk about teaching. So teaching happens all the time, uh, not only during beginner workshop. Uh, it could be a friend asking for help on a project or colleagues at quirks. Sadly, there is no magic recipe to make you a great teacher, but there is a, fix, a list of things that you should do and shouldn't do. For example, you may want to grab the keyboard from someone to uh, show them quicker what you want them to do. You shouldn't do that ever, like really, really don't, because it's really rude, because you're taking the keyboard from someone who is currently using it, and secondly, it's humiliating, because you're literally saying to this person that they can't do this, and you need to intervene. So, what should you do? If you can't see the screen, ask the person if she, uh, you're teaching to if they're okay with moving a bit or turn the screen. If you uh, need more detail to debug the code, uh, ask them to explain um, ask them or explain them how to do it. For example, you can say, can you show me the log? Or uh, can you type git space status, press enter. The main idea is when you're teaching, you should also teach how to debug, how to uh, help when you find a problem, because they will need that to continue learning. And also, by the way, you will be building, uh, have them building confidence that they can fix stuff. So the other things you may want to do is judge people because they're using an OS that you don't like, or software or language that you really, really don't like. Should you do that? Absolutely no. Because someone really has for your help, not your opinion. Last time I attended a workshop for beginners, uh, someone said to me, great, someone on Linux, that's one less problem. First, that was absolutely not true because thanks to a nasty bug, I spent more than an hour to make things works. <laughs> Secondly, that's humiliating for people that heard that comment and were starting to think, what is wrong with my OS? People going to programming workshop can doubt about their skills, their knowledge, or even their legitimacy to be there. So your job when you're teaching is to also be sure that people have an awesome day. So to do that, no nasty comment or judging. Oh, and by the way, don't even stop trolling with attendees or, you, or all the coaches. You're not here to prove you're the biggest dick in this part of town. You're just here to help people. So to resume, not kicking the keyboard, not judging, not trolling. That's maybe a lot of don'ts. So what can you do? You can build a friendly environment where they can learn. So to do that, you can, ask, you can create a space when they feel like they can ask questions. <laughs> For example, if you see them hesitate to ask you something, go and tell them that no, they won't bother you if they want to ask a question, and you will have to do that a lot. Uh, try also to answer the question positively. You can say something like, it's a great question, or mm, I'm not sure, so let's check on the internet. And don't ever act surprised by the question they can ask, because they need to know that they can trust you, and they can ask anything they want. Also, uh, try to put yourself in the shoes. Do not use jargon, 
or uh, don't say things like it's really simple, you just have to do that. Because it may be simple for you, but it's probably not the case for the people you're teaching to. Uh, building in a friendly environment also means that if uh, you need to check if they're getting frustrated or need a break. Most people have taught during workshop tend to spend the whole day in front of the computer, so including lunch. So you need to invite them to take a break, uh, have a glass of water or eat something. But you also have to be patient and encouraging. New learner can be slow, which may be really frustrating for you. Try to remember they are going through a lot. They, need, they, um, they will go through new concepts and everything, so be a bit slow. And be ready to repeat and explain things a multiple time. And uh, tell them that it's okay if they don't know everything because they're there to learn. And don't be afraid to make mistakes or check the documentation. Because doing that, you will also tell them that you don't know everything too. So be friendly, helpful, and celebrate small and big victories. And don't ever show your frustration. Keep in mind that basically you're here to help them and really empower them. So if you want more advice on how to do programming to someone, or I really invite you to check our website called Jungleverse, um, uh, coach.jungleverse.org. It's one of uh, our guide. We also have one to organize worship. And uh, really, I thank you for your attention. And, uh, that's it.